All right, day seven, awkwardly talking to myself again. So, hoping not to ramble as much as I have been. Uh, people say I, I say some valuable stuff, so I don't know. Who knows where this one will end up. Um... I've been working on my next training plan for uh, the 100 mile event that I have coming up in July. And I've realized it's 19 weeks away. So, yeah, it's a good time to be getting some clarity in my mind for sure. Uh, the 100 mile event takes a lot of um takes a lot of mental <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It takes a lot. It takes a lot out of you physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And my last one, I don't even know if I talked about my last one on the, on these videos, but I ended, I ended up smoking joints during my last event. Uh like physically during the event while I was uh, while I was doing it, um, but I ended up finishing it with five minutes before cutoff, so I think this time, if I'm able to finish at all, I'll be able to do it stronger and with uh, less recovery time, because last time uh, I carried a lot of guilt with the, the fact that I gave power away to this the smoking habit. Um, I just I felt a lot of guilt and it weighed me down a lot, and psychologically I went down of the the dark the same dark hole that I, I've always been down, uh, even despite the accomplishment, uh, despite the the pride that I felt in actually doing it, um, I felt guilty of all the congratulations and the and the 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 kind words that were spoken to me. I felt like I didn't really deserve it, just based on my own kind of self image, and, and that's basically what why I, I don't want to smoke anymore is because of that same insecurity, the same kind of uh, guilt trip that I, I put myself on. Like, I'm very hard on myself. I realize that. But I think to a point, I, I hold myself to a high standard. And I just wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't meeting it. So uh, going forward, I think I will be able to better apply myself my true self my my higher self um pun intended a little bit my my higher than high self and yeah just absolutely apply my my heart and soul to this event to the adventure um and be be absolutely fucking committed to just rocking it it'll be my second 100 mile event in in 10 months within 10 months so uh man i'm i'm pretty stoked uh 19 weeks is, is enough time for me to kind of ramp up a bit i've been averaging run wise about 60 kilometers a week anyway so um i'm in a lot better shape than than my than before my my first one but um yeah, so the frequency with which I was smoking, and I smoked cigarettes and, th and uh, cigarettes and tobacco. I smoked tobacco and weed. They pretty much go hand in hand. Um, and cigarettes, I was up to a pack a day easy. And weed, I was smoking an ounce a week. Uh, fuck, at least probably an ounce every six days probably because I'd re-up on the seventh day usually but um yeah man i smoked a lot i enjoyed i th i thought i enjoyed the escape of just you know just fucking chain smoking in my garage or just outside uh playing online poker or something just kind of vegging out zoning out um and like i said i was i'm, I'm able to I was able to to run these events and distances and 
uh, despite being so uh, so lost and so dark. Um, so that's what that's where I get excited about my future and my potential, is that I can kind of um, I can kind of see where I was able to go um, in my own mind. Uh, like a hundred mile event, if I stop and look at it as an outside perspective, I'm like, holy fuck, that's a, that's a long way. That's 160 kilometers nonstop. Well, ideally nonstop. <clears throat> um, man, oh man. And as I didn't smoke cigarettes at that, at, during that event, but. I was hard into the weed, and after that, uh, I spiraled and just I uh, picked up smoking cigarettes again. Um, have I quit those late October of last year? So October twenty twenty two, uh, and I, I find it kind of easy, just because I I've quit cigarettes probably oh fuck probably ten times now, but it's easy to rationalize the the negative side effects of cigarettes. Um, and if you're struggling with cigarettes and tobacco, I would suggest a, uh, a book called Alan Carr's Easy Way to Quit. Um, and that, that's kind of what flipped the script on me, where I was not focused on giving up anything, but focused on what I stood to gain. And just looking at it positively rather than kind of uh, full of dread and full of uh, worry. Um, because withdrawal is, is kind of scary, but if you can kind of approach it as as the addiction leaving rather than kind of wanting another smoke or um, kind of going down that road of missing it or romanticizing about it, then that's a that's a powerful tool. The the human mind is is powerful. You just have to be able to focus it in such a way that it kind of works for you rather than against you which is easier said than done but it's a process uh, so don't beat yourself up if you kind of have little speed bumps along the way uh, learn from it take take stock of what what worked and what doesn't and man that that's the, that's the humbling part is I, I could probably I might be able to be that for somebody one day or right now who knows I've had several people reach out to me and I'm blown away by the feedback like I'm, I'm surprised people even watch these things me rambling to a fucking phone in my face but uh, it's selfishly just for me to uh, proof of me putting it out to the universe is, is basically my goal but if it helps anybody or even one person uh, now or down the road, then I mean that's a that's a blessing that I will I will carry dear, dearly, and uh, it'll make it easier for me to keep keep clean and to not uh, not romanticize it, not not kind of look back and be like, hmm, well maybe I can. Uh, I can quit easily, so maybe I can just have one more. Like I, d I don't want to go down that road. It, this is not a tolerance break. I, I plan to, I plan to abstain from um, inhaling anything, <laughs> uh, and I feel good. Like my lungs, I can, I can fucking breathe. Uh, when I go for a run now, my perceived effort is lower, so I end up going faster with the same kind of effort level. Um, which is neat, which is very neat. So yeah, I'm excited for the future. Um, what else do I got to say today, man? Uh, I'm starting to have really weird dreams, which are, and that's probably the hardest part for me. I don't want to portray that I'm, I'm, I'm positive all the time or that this is, this is easy at all. But, uh, the hardest part for me has been the mood, um, like generally my days are good. I'm confident and hopeful, but sometimes my mood just gets down. Um <clears throat> I would say I get cranky or irritable, but uh there's some people out there that would laugh at that. 
Um, and maybe that's true, but I sometimes I really don't feel myself. And that is the worst part. Uh, but I know it's just a moment in time where I don't feel that clarity that I crave, but it's coming. I, I have glimpses of it. And you can probably tell by these videos if you watch them in sequence where I can kind of um, justify my thoughts. Or not justify, but kind of uh, vocalize my thoughts better. And just remember actually what I was trying to say. And this is fucking 10 minutes already. Holy shit, I'm rambling again. I don't think I'm rambling. Maybe I am. Uh, but yeah, mood swings and the dreams are starting. I, I wake up. The worst part is the 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 mornings, or if I if I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart starts to race a little bit. So uh, be prepared for that. Have your breathing strategies down, uh, grounding exercises. I use YouTube a lot, a lot of uh, guided meditations or or these um, kind of not spiritual music, but like. Uh, um, what are they called? Ambient music. Um, just to kind of bring my mind down. Uh, but worst case, like get outside and breathe the air, look at the stars, uh, dance in the rain or like whatever, whatever you have to do to kind of establish your existence in the world again. Or make these make these videos, like uh, tell somebody, talk to people uh, and you'll get feedback. You'll get a lot, a lot more positive feedback than negative. Um, <clears throat> and like even the negative feedback, it's like, it's, it's easy not to take it personal because you can, you can kind of tell that people take it personally. And I don't, I don't mean to attack anybody or, or like look down on anybody at all. Uh, this is just me and my life and this is the way I want to live it. Um, and really you don't have to watch these videos or listen to what I say, so... Um, and it, the fact that you're still here after 12 minutes of me rambling is probably a good sign that you enjoy what I say, which is pretty fucked up. I'm just kidding. It's not fucked up. And drink tea. Orange Pico tea is what I recommend. But really, yeah, just be cautious of your appetite. Make sure you're getting water. And eat some fruit. Eat, eat whatever you can, really. But uh, that's about it, man. Just uh, set some goals, set some ambitious, ambitious goals. Uh, be patient with yourself, and be nice. Like, be nice to yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you if you relapse or or experience some speed bumps. Um, Make sure your support network is aware of what's going on. Uh, like if, if don't don't keep it to yourself. Basically, just uh, speak it out, live it, love it, fucking learn from it, get after it. Whatever your it is, you don't have to be a runner, you don't have to do a hundred mile events, but you do have to do something. Um, you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands, a lot of uh, a lot of time to think. Um, but get real with yourself in the mirror. Just be those little I shoulds in, in, in your mind or I shouldn'ts. Uh, you start to listen to them. If you start to listen to them, you'll probably feel a lot better. Um, maybe not right away, but eventually, eventually you, you certainly will. And the people around you will certainly appreciate you for the truth that you are speaking and... Not only speaking, but actually being an example of the truth that you speak of. And and that's that's probably the main thing is the, the integrity behind it all is uh, is what I what I'm after. I want to be somebody that people are proud to know. And uh, if I can be of value to the world as far as that goes, then uh, I'll be a happy man. But anyways, this is this is getting too long again, but <laughs> fuck. Uh, I talk a lot for somebody who doesn't know what to say. Uh, anyways, day seven. One week down. What's up? Let's go. Motherfucker.